we present our work on implicit neural representations with periodic activation functions. How we represent signals has a tremendous impact on how we solve problems. Traditionally, discrete representations for signals are used. For instance, grids of pixels for images, point clouds for representing 3D shapes, or discrete samples for the amplitude of a sound wave. Recently, neural implicit representations have emerged as a novel way to represent 3D shapes. Here, a signal is parameterized continuously as a ReLU neural network that maps an XYZ coordinate to the signed distance at that location. This emerging representation has many benefits. It is agnostic to grid resolution, and the memory required generally scales with the complexity of the signal, independent of spatial resolution. While ReLU neural networks are capable of representing simple objects, such as this Stanford bunny, they fail to encode complex or large scenes with fine details, such as this room-scale environment. More generally, one can ask whether such architectures are able to represent other complex signals, such as images or sound. Interestingly, we show that common network architectures using ReLU or hyperbolic tangent nonlinearities fail to capture high-frequency details present in natural signals. Another motivation for modeling signals with continuous representations is to solve physics-based problems. Here, implicit neural representations could enable solving these problems faster and finding better solutions by learning priors over the space of functions they represent. For physics applications, it is critical that these architectures can accurately model derivatives of first and higher order to enable solving of partial differential equations. However, common network architectures fail at fitting functions via their higher order derivatives. In this work, we present sinusoidal representation networks, or SIREN, a simple multilayer perceptron, or MLP, network architecture that uses the periodic sign as its nonlinearity. In the supplemental material, we conduct a detailed analysis of activation statistics and present a principled initialization scheme. We will show that SIREN is not only able to rapidly converge to an accurate fit for complicated functions with high frequency details, but that SIREN is also capable of fitting functions via their first and second order derivatives, and can thus be used in a partial differential equation solver. We demonstrate SIREN's performance for a range of applications, from representing natural signals by fitting their values directly, such as for images, audio, or videos, to solving problems rooted in physics that impose constraints on first-order derivatives, such as the Iconal equation, or second-order derivatives in the Poisson, Helmholtz, or Wave equations. Starting with natural signals, we first fit SIREN supervised by an image f defined on pixel coordinates. We seek a function phi that minimizes the discrepancy between the RGB or grayscale values of the image and the output of the network phi for each pixel. A comparison is made against different baseline architectures using different nonlinearities, such as ReLU or hyperbolic tangent, the positional encoding function presented by Mildenhall et al. in 2020, as well as radial basis functions leveraged in the late 80s for function interpolation. Not only does SIREN achieve a 10 dB higher PSNR than all baseline approaches, and converges significantly faster, as shown on the convergence plot on the right, but it also is the only architecture that faithfully reproduces the first and second spatial derivatives of the image. A similar experiment can be carried out to fit an audio waveform, where the network maps time points t to an amplitude, and is directly supervised by the ground truth audio amplitude. In this scenario, tested first on a voice signal, Siren is the only architecture able to fit the waveform at all. Zero, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is also true for a piece of music. Thank you. 
Next, we demonstrate that Siren may directly parameterize video signals. Here, Siren maps a time and a pixel coordinate to an RGB value and is directly supervised by the ground truth pixel values. Siren fits fine details significantly more accurately than a conventional MLP with Reluse. Note the video is complex, with different scenes with little self-similarity. However, even on a video that exhibits a lot of self-similarity across time, Siren fits the spatiotemporal signal much more accurately. As we are about to show, Siren is able to faithfully reconstruct a function given only its first or higher order derivatives. In this experiment, we supervise the gradient of the network representing phi with the gradient of a target function f used in the supervision. In other words, we are looking for a function phi so that its gradient is equal to those of this other function f. Note that in such a scenario the network phi is never supervised with the actual values of f and is only supervised via its gradient. Hence the solution is determined only up to an additive constant. By evaluating the network phi at different pixel positions, it performs image reconstruction, despite the fact that phi has never seen the image, only the gradients of phi have been supervised. This can be shown to be equivalent to solving a Poisson equation. Not only does Siren reconstruct the image much more accurately than other approaches, it also converges much faster. Interestingly, one can also monitor the second-order derivatives visualized through the Laplacian of the image and of the network. Siren is the only architecture that accurately captures the second-order derivatives. The ability of Siren to fit a signal via its derivative can be leveraged across a diverse set of applications to solve challenging boundary value problems. Here, we demonstrate the solution of a particular instance of the iconal equation. In this problem, we seek a function phi such that the magnitude of its gradient is 1 everywhere, meaning phi must be a sine distance function. We also constrain phi to be 0 on the set of points given as a point cloud, and constrain its normals to be correctly oriented. By supervising phi on a point cloud with oriented normals, we can thus find a phi whose zero level set can be extracted and represents a 3D shape. With a relatively small number of parameters, Siren can represent a level of detail that a Relu MLP with the same number of parameters cannot, as illustrated on this Thai statue from the Stanford 3D Model Repository. A single fully connected Siren with 5 layers and 1024 hidden units may also faithfully represent a full-scale room, while a Relu network fails to faithfully reconstruct the room, as illustrated by the inability to fit the curtains, the bowl on the table, or the feet of the sofas. Next, we are interested in seeking functions where constraints are imposed on both the first and second order derivatives. This is the case, for instance, in the Helmholtz equation, which describes stationary solutions of the wave equation. In this case, the output of Siren is a complex number represented by two network outputs for the real and imaginary parts. Again, we note that we do not supervise Siren with the ground truth values of the wave fields. Rather, we interact with phi only via the constraints on the first and second order derivatives defined by the Helmholtz equation. We show the convergence across the entire optimized domain. Here, the domain boundary consists of a perfectly matched layer which attenuates outgoing waves to ensure the problem is well posed with a unique solution. Both ReLU and hyperbolic tangent MLPs fail entirely to reconstruct the wave field, while the Siren MLP converges swiftly and accurately. We investigate solving the full wave equation that describes a field on a spatiotemporal domain. Again, Siren is the only architecture able to recover the wave field accurately. Finally, we demonstrate that the space of functions parameterized by Siren admits the learning of a prior. We leverage a convolutional encoder to regress a latent code, which is then mapped to all parameters of a Siren via a fully connected hypernetwork. As we demonstrate here, this enables the learning of a prior over the Celeb A image dataset, and therefore impainting from sparse observations. 
In summary, we proposed sinusoidal representation networks, or SIREN, a neural network using the periodic sign as its nonlinearity. We believe that this novel representation may inspire new machine learning techniques as well as new approaches to solving inverse problems.